Hey buddy, this is me and in this video I wanted to share with you that I received my 16 gigabyte uh, RAM that I purchased from Amazon and also I have a 250 gigabyte SSD drive that I pulled out from my old MacBook and I wanted to show you the process of me upgrading my 2012 MacBook Pro. So as you can see here, I just remove this um, casing. This is the old hard driver here, and this is the SSD RAM. So let's first thing we'll do is let's remove the battery. So let's take the spudger. Disconnect the power just in case. So, just want to make sure, just in case, um, you don't get any static or anything like that. So next um, we have here, take out this screw here for the hard drive. So we'll do the hard drive first. And you probably noticed that when I took out the screws, I kind of laid it next to each one of, each one of the holes. So we don't uh, get confused regarding uh, the, um, which screws go in which holes. So, so now let's remove the hard drive here. It's gonna disconnect this here. So this here is the old hard drive here. This is the old 5400 RPM hard drive. So what we're going to do is remove these little nuts here. I think those are T8s. So, T eights here. Nope, it looks like T eights are too big. Let's go with uh, T six here. And this case here, I got um, a while back from. Um, so. Um, and it has all the screws and everything like that, so any bits and pieces. So this is what, which is great about this, is right here. So I'm just going to take the pieces out. So as you can see, I put... I put the little brackets back into the solid state one. So now um, what I need to do is transfer this tape here over to the heart, to the SSD drive. There you go. So now here, let's put the tab on. This tab right here. Just 
kind of line it up better. And now we're just going to reconnect this cable here. This bracket here. Just gonna swap over, change out the bit. Screw that back in. There you go. That looks good. So now let's actually go for the RAM chips here. So um, I'm just going to pop these out here. This is the first one. And this is the second one right here. So as you can see here, these are the two pair of two gigabyte SSD um, RAMs here. So um, we remove that, and now we have we're going to take out the two eight gigs here. So these are the new ones right here. So let's put in the first one. Make sure that's fully installed. Next one is this one here. So oops. So I accidentally hit, triggered that. There you go. Next one. There's a little dust right there. Pop it in. There you go. So, thing looks good now. It's gonna plug in the battery. Okay, so we're good now. And uh, it's time to put back in the case here. Oops, this way. Let's get to kind of go this way here.
So I wanted to kind of show you that um, it registered both eight gig sticks. And when we go to the storage, it does recognize that it's the 250 gig SSD that I installed. So now it boots up pretty quickly. The installation was actually, or sorry, the upgrade was actually pretty simple and um, it didn't take too long. So if you have a, a MacBook, like a 2012 or 2011, and you guys decide you want to do the upgrade, it's actually pretty simple. Um, I'm going to try to uh, upgrade the OS eventually to Catalina. Um, but if you find this entertaining, um, please uh, like, subscribe, and you have a good day. Take care.